Hey everybody, welcome to my 100th anniversary beer review. So that's it, I've made it this far, and I got plenty more to go. You're probably asking yourself, why is this guy going to be doing a Crest beer review on his 100th anniversary review? Well, there is some sentimental value behind this review. Uh, my father, unfortunately, God bless, uh, passed away um, a few years back, a couple days after my birthday. And while he was healthy and kicking, he, uh, he actually enjoyed uh, drinking Crest. Crest Super, 10% premium lager. Um, now, I'm, I normally wouldn't drink this beer at all, but I'm doing it in honor of my father. So, Crest, it's a 500 milliliter can, 10% ABV, and it says the finest German aroma hops. And since I've looked at this can, um, it used to be like, a gold and purple and black color so this is this is a change um, it contains malted barley and that's all it says um, yeah and this is from Bedford so uh, Bedford UK and I'm going to be using my hobgoblin glass uh, to support the cause and here goes let's pop this baby doesn't smell like alcohol. You know, I figure at like a 10% ABV beer that I'd be really, uh, you know, I'd be experiencing really intense alcoholic aromas, but not really getting that here. Check that out. Now you know why I picked this glass. As you can tell, it just looks like your average lager. You have a very uh, wheaty, copper looking color. Um, I got a one finger head medium carbonation going on in there and uh... yeah, I don't really pick up on any of the aromas, it's kind of like a, your typical lager so this being 10% ABV, I remember growing up not really liking this because it tasted too strong let's see how it goes <laughs> that's why I didn't like it boys as you're drinking the beer, you can feel yourself getting a buzz. <laughs> um, I've had 12% beers out there, and they still don't kick me in the butt as much as this does. And now that I, now I know what that taste is that I don't like, it's the it's the malted barley that uh, that I know now. Um, from many many beers in my beer reviews, I've I've pointed out the fact that I'm not a big barley fan. Not very much lace. It's like drinking a. It's like drinking malt liquor. That's what it feels like. Yeah, that's all you get, man. Roasted barley, alcohol. Or sorry, malted barley and alcohol. All around though, it doesn't. It actually isn't as bad as I remember. Um, but that's also because I usually used to drink it out of a can. This is, we're talking like high school, you know, 18, 19 years old. Oh, more and more I'm getting to the bottom of the glass. Uh, I'm getting more of that gritty, gritty, gritty taste. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Now, I'm going to tell you a little story. Um, this used to be really cheap in LCBO. This used to be like $1.90, $2 or something. Now it's like $3.20, $3.50 for a cam. Essentially, from what I hear, from what I heard when the, when the price prices got jacked up, was that all malt liquors and all really high percent alcoholic beer uh, prices were jacked up solely for the purpose of well, basically, they had such an issue with drunk people hanging around their stores all the time. <clears throat> they'd come back in and they'd buy more beer. So they were always obligated to deny people of alcohol, uh, alcohol who were sitting around on the outside of their stores. So all the prices got jacked up. And it sounds really fun. Uh, you may not believe this, but like I don't see any 
drunk ass people hanging around LCBO anymore or the beer store. So I don't know. I it, it's hard for me to believe that like a dollar dollar fifty difference, you know, is going to keep people from drinking something that they they're drinking for the for the fact that you know it's high alcohol content. Ugh, more and more I drink it. <laughs> oh. Uh. Everybody who knows this drink, who's afraid of this drink, who knows exactly what I'm going through right now. A grueling, grueling experience. The more and more I get to the bottom, I, I taste barley and syrup. Blah. Very gritty, very grody. Um, Hobgoblin. Just keep looking at this guy and he's just like, keep drinking it, keep drinking it. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh. I don't know if I can down this, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try because I'm not a fan. Honestly, if if I were to just drink the beginning the way that I drank it, I I could give it like I could almost you know an average you know two and a half out of out of five because it's it wasn't that terrible. But ever since I reached the halfway point and I'm working my way down, it's hard for me to give this thing anything above a one point five you know out of five. If I said ten earlier, I apologize. I uh, I meant average being two and a half out of five. Um, yes. <laughs> oh, that gag reflex is starting to hit me. <clears throat> if I would have chugged that last little bit, bleh, I would have been on Tosh.0 oh and another vomit, vomit comet experience. Oh, oh, oh. Dad, I apologize. This is not my beer, but you drank it, and I will continue to honor him. Wow. Wow. Let's see what we can brew here. Nothing. All right. <laughs> Sorry, people. I can't do the end. <laughs> the end is like all oh, barley, man. Oh. 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 <laughs> Oh, geez, man, look at me trying to drink that. Woo! Can't do it. It's too gross. Oh, oh how could I even give it a 1.5 when I drink the last sip? I don't know. This is all over the place beer. Bottom line is it doesn't taste good right to the end. <coughs> the ending is what deserves the rating. <coughs> I am now giving this a one out of five. <laughs> one out of five. One out of five, people. All right. I'm going to go and uh, have a shower and uh, brush my teeth after drinking this beer. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to drink my uh, regurgitated beer. I did not vomit, though. All right, people. Thanks for joining me on another one of my reviews. Uh, it may still surprise you that it was the 100th anniversary beer review, but in honor of my father. Cheers. Love you, Dad. All right, everybody. Thanks for joining me on another one of Chris's beer reviews. Don't drink and drive, but drink responsibly. Cheers.